Legend has it that at the beginning of time there was a great civilization that gave rise to all others, which brought humanity from its prehistoric state into civil society. This civilization left behind tools for the people of the world that would help men and women to find their purpose and remember who they are on earth. By building many different monuments around the world, they demonstrated their level of connection between heaven and earth, which was guided by the geography and geometry of the planet. With the passing of time, their power grew without limits across the faces of earth. According to Plato, all of this power and wisdom eventually turned into greed and a desire to control, leading humanity and civilization into a period of great decadence, which eventually brought it to ruins and a loss of meaning and human purpose. Since the fall of this legendary civilization and the disconnection of its people, all subsequent systems and nations have remained subject to a cultural legacy of control, hierarchy, domination, and loss of spiritual meaning. Thousands of years later, dating back to the current times, we have been able to free ourselves of much of this conditioning due to development, social evolution, and spiritual and scientific technology. Nonetheless, underneath all of these achievements, there are still ancestral patterns within the collective unconscious that bind us to a system of domination and control. Thousands of people are waking up and remembering that it is time to transform the reality of our current world. Even though humanity has continuously transformed over the course of history, we have done so through changing our form and not our essence, which has trapped us in a web of cyclical dependence. So, how can we achieve true transformation? And what if, instead of changing our form, we transform our essence? In alignment with the natural evolution of Earth, a large part of humanity has chosen to engage in projects that lead us towards change, taking responsibility through activities that assist in different areas of need, like the environment, education, the redistribution of wealth, and equal living conditions in all its socio-cultural aspects. To help support this change and join in the impulse of transformation, we created the RCM Foundation in 2012 which has the purpose of generating a network of networks of consciousness to help shift our all social programming. In order for a human being to make a change, we must first become aware that a change is necessary. This is why our primary objective is to assist in the awakening of consciousness, which will eventually lead more and more people to participate in the transformational projects initiated by different communities. Jung used to speak about a network of collective unconsciousness which influences the behavior of a society. In order to transform the collective unconscious, it is necessary to understand the foundations that sustain it. According to the legend of ancient civilizations, ancient people knew about specific points on the planet where you could access to this great unconscious registry, points on which they build some of their monuments. To access this network, they use mantras, prayers, songs and music, which lead us to understand that frequency is the universal language. Everything that exists is based on a pattern of three, frequency, energy and matter. Matter is composed of energy, and energy is made up of frequency. If we want to transform the physical world and the cyclical behaviors that it creates, we must transform the frequency that composes it. If you could hear all the sounds and rhythms of the earth, you would hear a harmonic symphony and notice that only one of its instruments is out of tune, the human being. If we want to sing in harmony and once again hear ourselves as part of this great orchestra, we must learn to get in in tongue. In order to do this, we must leave behind the belief in separation, which make us believe we are on the top of Earth, when in reality we are a part of her. I am the Earth. As Carl Sagan says, we are stardust. That is, we are universal seeds 
born from the expression of universal sound, which created life through its fractalization. In the Oracle of Delphi, it says that in order to know the universe, one must know the self. In other words, all the answers to the universe are within. By understanding the biology of our own being, we will be able to understand the biology of the universe. This was known by the Nordics as the Tree of Life, Yggdrasil, and as the Kabbalah by the Hebrew. It doesn't matter what part you take in the whole, the whole resides in all parts. To become conscious is to bring clarity to reality. The universe does this through the process of photosynthesis, in which each tree is like a neuron, and every forest is like a thought. As humans, we carry out the same process in our consciousness and actions, which is to say that we are the neurons of the world that are capable of generating a network of synapses to create a thought that will lead us into transformative action. Just like Hermes says in the Kivalion, the fundamental shift will occur when the thinker changes his mentality. This network of synapses runs along the geomagnetic and geometric lines of the Earth, in which the most important nodes reside along what Plato called the hicosahedron and dodecahedron. As the Sumerians would say, a people that derive their origin from the stars, we are universal seeds. I am. Taking the idea of fractality, we can see that both the earth and human beings possess biological organisms, such as bones, glands, and the nervous system. In the nervous system of the earth, its spinal cord and neuronal circuit extends along the mountain ranges of the world, which are connected by a great tectonic plate that scientists call the ring of fire. By traveling across it, our goal is to make the earth feel our intention to consciously reconnect our thoughts with hers through a kind of a temperature treatment by bringing the purity of consciousness of the Antarctic up to the ancestral records in the North Pole. In the second phase, we will travel across the 12 phases of the planetary dodecahedron, crossing the lines of the collective unconscious and capturing the thoughts and feelings of the children and elders in all cultures in a documentary journey. In this way, we will sow their messages about the creation of a new Earth and humanity across the network of planetary consciousness. Returning to consider the three universal bases, our journey to awaken consciousness will be based on frequency. Frequency will mobilize the energy needed to bring this message to all people through audiovisual and graphic content that will cultivate the expansion of an action network that will assist in the transformation of the physical world. In these times of turbulence and global chaos, human civilization finds itself before an existential abyss in which we must stop and rethink whether we are going to continue in this way or change. Our contribution to this evolutionary jump is translated into a Cedrus project, which, starting with the planetary movement from 2017 and 2020, will enable the creation of a global network of gatherings based on a new perspective coming from children and youth, in which we will discuss the creation of the basis of a new social model, which will transcend social ideologies and move to where a biological society aligning nations and states along an evolutionary path in harmony with the Earth. What are we doing all this for? The underlying longing of humanity is to discover itself by surpassing itself, seeking in the process to come into harmony with itself and its environment. This is why our project have not arisen out of frustration with environment, but rather from the simple joy of transforming ourselves and becoming better in the process. The greatest expression of love in the universe is evolution. Are you ready to evolve?